Alright, so I'm finally here with the Raise Haven guide. I know a lot of people have been asking for it. I just haven't been able to make it, so we're here. We finally made it. And uh, yeah, if you don't know who I am, I'm an Immortal 3 Raise Jet player. I've been playing since beta. You can see I used to be like in plat, and then I slowly just climbed up. Open up. So yeah, I've learned like a lot along the way. So uh, yeah, let's just hop into it. Alright, so real quick before we get into it, 90% of you aren't subbed, so if you like my stuff and you want to keep watching it, please sub. And uh, yeah, let's go. Alright, so Ray's on Haven, like, she, it's not her best map, but it's definitely not her worst map. Like, it, I'd say this is probably, like, pretty much average bog standard. Like, she, the thing about Ray's is you can use her on every map, like, her, just from the way her utility works. You know, you can fly around the place, you can use rocket launchers. All her utility is just really good, so she's just pretty good on every map. But, uh, yeah, on Haven, it's quite a big map. It can get complicated if you don't really know, like, some normal plays. So, I'm just going to start on attack here. So, we'll go we'll go with A, just for to start. So, with A, the thing I like to do is start off the round, run over here, and just toss this Boombot down short. This Boombot is really strong, just because anyone... If you're an enemy, like, you can see where it goes. It will clear these two corners. If you're an enemy, a lot of enemies will like to just run out here like this. And just swing out this boom bot just stops them doing that completely so you're able to just take this all this whole space all the way down just for free and then you can take a duel here take a duel on this guy up here you can come make your way up you know you can clear here clear here it just gives you a lot of space to work with and then what i like to do is a lot of times you'll see people sitting in this corner it's very very annoying to clear like you'll have to like peek out or something and then you're exposed to everywhere so I'll usually bounce my nade just off that. You can even do it a little bit tighter, like here. And it will guaranteed kill this guy. There's no way you can escape that. And the other play you can do with the nade from short, I'll go over long now in a second, is uh, you can throw it like here. This, it'll bounce back here. Or if you want to help with this guy here, you can just throw it a bit more over to the right. See, so it'll land pretty much on default. They will have to like either hide here, swing here, a lot of times they will just swing, or they'll have to swing your long players. So yeah, it's pretty pretty strong. You can also just nade heaven, just nade towards CT, just a lot of good nades. Like if you don't think there's going to be a guy here, you, you probably want to use the heaven or CT nade, or even the default nade. So yeah, what I'm doing is I'm aiming kind of like usually at this line. Just around there, you know, it'll land pretty much here all the time. And for long, long's a bit more annoying. You usually have to jiggle peek this, like this. That's how I'll start it off. It's just a jiggle like that, and then I'll try and take the space. Sometimes they can cross, depending on how fast you are. Or, like, if they just knife out, they can just run into this corner or that one. So you'll have to just be aware of that. So you'll have to clear up like this. Long is a bit more awkward. Because, I mean, there's play, like, what I like to do is clear this corner. It's very annoying, so I'll bounce the boombot off. It's just the problem is sometimes it won't clear properly. You have to get quite tight, but you have to push up quite a bit to get that. You can also do a nice nade on default there. You can see I'm aiming at the higher yellow line here from the bottom. This is why it's annoying, because from the bottom, you aim at the higher yellow line for a nade. And from closer up, you have to aim at the bottom yellow line. See? Sometimes, if you're too far up, like here, you'll actually have to walk backwards. To make it land properly. Yeah, long's a bit more annoying, but the thing about long is when your smokes come down, like, you can do, like, this nade, and you can jump up on this box and just take a fight on a guy short, take a fight on a guy here, take a fight. I'll have a, I'll have a clip of that. Alright, so you can see here, I'm just pushing up long with my jet. I go to nade, I think I need the window there, and I just jump straight up on top of this box. Shoot the jet right in the back, he has no idea. Take a duel in the chamber, he cannot pre-aim me from here. So he's kind of fucked. I nade in the window again, just so I can get the bomb down safely. And I go to play in this corner here. And I see the enemy as a sheriff, so I just go for a flying shot here, and I manage to hit it. But yeah. <laughs> You can see, uh, yeah, but the, since the enemy had a sheriff, I didn't think I'd get one tap, so I just went for the, the funny play. 
but yeah, it worked out. That's how you pretty much like take the site. Once you get to about here, you can just double satchel out if you want. Just fly underneath, or you can go up there, like I said. Oh, go up there and come over this way if you really want to confuse them. Just you just want to kill like the guy who's on site here. That's your main job. And then once you get the post plant, I really like playing this corner, kind of. But the thing about playing this corner, this corner is death. This corner is complete death if you, like, all the time. Because you know, you know if you've played this corner, people are just gonna come out and kill you. This is why you need, and I mean you need, a teammate to play here with you. Who plays off your contact. You know what I mean? So, like, the enemy will peek you in that corner. And then you'll either kill one or two, or you'll just die. And then your teammate here can just... Shoot him in the back and get a couple kills. That's why that one's so good. Another good one is this corner. A lot of people don't expect it. You can also do some funny plays where you can shoot at the guy in heaven if you want. <laughs> I have a pretty funny clip of that. But yeah, you can just do that or you can just wait for the guy's seat too. But yeah, that's pretty much A. You can also play post plant here. Like, you have your nade still. You can nade the bomb. Then from long. You can nade off this and hit the bomb plant. Probably don't run actually. Just a standing nade. Because you see how different the nade works when you run. Like it's way different. See that it lands here? That one lands here. You know? I think it bounced off this, but still. Yeah, you see what I mean. But yeah, that's pretty much A for attack. Now we're gonna go over mid and B. So with mid and B, it's kind of, it's it's pretty good, because you can take garage really easily as race. So the lineup I found recently from Scream was this one. You see this flower here? There. At the start of the round, I'll wait for the pin to go away. At the start of the round, you kind of aim to the left of the flower. I need to build and see, something we'll wait for the round to start, you know, waiting, waiting, waiting. Toss the boom bot out. You can jump on this box. One thing I'd be careful of is a guy pushing down here. We can see where this boom bot goes. It will come in and it will clear here, here, and if a guy's peeking here, it will it will see him. So I'm not certain if it clears here. So I'd just be there. careful of this corner. But yeah. You can also, you know, nade the window then. If there's a guy in this corner, he's just dead. Instantly. The raise nade is really good in garage. You'll see on defense as well, you can play in garage and just hold it down. So yeah, you can nade this, and then you can just go towards C if you want. Or you can jump up in the window and try and get like a cheeky kill. Maybe on a guy B, maybe you want a flank C. Like if you're in this window, you can just instantly fly out like this. And the guy on C is probably not even looking at you. If you're C splitting and you do this, like this guy is probably not looking at you at all. You probably just go for a few kill on this guy if he's backside. Because he's going to expect you to come out from this way. Which also from this way, you can just... You can just fly out if you want. You're probably dead though if you fly out like that. So if you still have nade, you can like nade back sight. I'd recommend like coming into cover here instead, and then you can clear around the way. And then you can just satchel peek him like this. Probably the safer way. Like you can just double satchel out if you want, but unless you land on this box, like you're probably dead. So you know you could like like that and then you can try and take the gunfight like that because he won't expect you up here let the flick you know but if you just double satchel and fly at him with your gun out like he's probably gonna kill you so that's garage and you can also split into b if you want which is rare play but it's definitely still there and then for you can just the only way i'd recommend doing window is doing a satchel peek at the start of the round but even then it's quite risky because you have to look here 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 you know, there's a lot of places you have to look in case of like an upper and stuff. But yeah, that's why I usually start here. If I'm going even just towards B, I'll just jump up on like this, do a little B hop. And then I'll peek like this. I'll shift my way up. Just try and see if I can see a guy early. And then you can bounce the boom ball off this to clear up here. Because this is the most dangerous part of B. Like, you'll see a lot of omens, raises. Anyone who can jump up here is usually up here. So that's why I'd bounce it off this. Then I clear this way. If you hear anything, then you know you can just swing and kill him. I'd uh, double swing it. You can also just satchel peek it. Just to make sure. And yeah. 
B is a very risky site. Like, you have to either take the whole site and take back site, or you need to play with your team off the site and you just get the bomb down. But if you want to take the site, you can just fly instantly back site and just... You can really stop them from coming in from back here. You know what I mean? Or you can just hard take the duels over this side. Like, sometimes there's not even a player on B, so what you can do is just literally fly in like this and get a push on A. You can play like an off angle here and they won't expect you to be here so quick. That's kind of really it would be if you're playing off site, you know, you know the standard spots like here, here, or here. You can like nade the bomb and stuff. You have it. Obviously you can just rock it out as well, just take the site like that. A lot of tight space in here. If there's a guy back site, you know, you can just hit him with the nade. You want to nade in the middle so that he has to peek one of the sides. Because if you nade too far to one side, you might just be able to hide behind here and just take some chip damage, you know? Or you can just right click him and go knife him, that's a pretty fun play. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that, but anyway. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much B and mid for attack. So C, you can do some fun things. I've got like a nice play here, so every single time I go C, I will run, jump, and do this. Every time. If you haven't seen my movement guide, you can take a look at that. Just to see like exactly what I'm doing. But basically to jump peak, you press W and A like this. So you run out like this, W and A. And then when you get to the point where you want to stop, you press S and D. Or this side. Obviously you can do it on this side with the opposite keys. So W D. And then you press S and A. Just do a little jump peek, see if there's an opera looking at you, see if there's a, any weapon at all. Any, you know, chambers for 100 credits can just one-shot you. But yeah, you want to make it into this cubby. And what you can do is, if you get in this Here. very corner, you can toss a boomba. You see, count these. One, two, three. And then we're looking at this. And then you have the halfway between three and four, like trumpets or whatever the fuck. Are they cannons? I don't know what the fuck they are, but whatever these things are anyway. You count one, two, three, and a half. And you toss the boom bot here. I'll show you where it goes. See, so it'll come out this way. And it will come towards back site. And it will ping a guy. It will check kind of logs. You just kind of want this for anyone also peeking here. This is a very, like, annoying spot. And then what you can do is after this boom bot, so, you know, you toss this boom bot. You walk over here. And you see this? You want to, you can do a standing nade. Stand still. You'll see it will kill anyone in that corner. They're just straight up dead if they stay there. And a lot of people like to play that corner. It's very annoying. Or what you can do is play the same place and just running nade. You see the way I ran before and now it goes all the way back site. So you can like kill the guy that has to peek or jump up. And the other play, you can fly out with your satchels like this. You can jump up on this box. You can clear it. And you can just take a duel from here. As your team are executing out, so... If you're the enemy, you know, and you're standing here, there's a boom bot coming at you, you're like, oh my god, you back up a bit, and then you try and take a duel here, and you see a raise flying up, and you try and shoot him down, and then his whole team is coming out at you, you're gonna get, even if you die as the raid, is, you're almost always getting traded, because the guy, like, he's just, like, confused, looking up and down, there's boom bots, there's shit everywhere, there's nades, you know what I mean? So, usually when I go C, I will just go one, two, three, boom bot, nade like this, and then I'll fly out that you can also run up a bit further and just go straight out onto the site like this if you want to just take that duel instead just to change it up you can do so many different satchel plays here on c you can let you like fly over this way you could even fly over that way there. but the nade here is so good because this angle is so annoying to clear sometimes you know what i mean even if there's a guy back here you, you can do the nade like the running nade and it'll clear him i'm not sure if it'll kill him if he's sitting hard tucked but it will do a lot of damage. But yeah, then on C for post plant, you know, you can play like this corner. You can just take duels like this. Or you can play on site C. Post plant's very annoying. As long as you plant the bomb for long, like your your job here as raise is to stall as much time as possible. Like you you wanna if you can get kills, I wouldn't recommend just hard pushing if you're already up in numbers, but like if you're even or down in numbers, your job is to just hard stall for your long players to just be able to use their utility to keep the bomb alive, you know what I mean? So, like, if you can stand here and just fucking annoy them, you know, just nading them, stopping them coming out, 
Just not dying and just stalling for as long as you can. You know what I mean? That's your job as a duelist. Like, your life as a duelist in a post plan is usually less valuable than, like, a Viper or someone like that or a Brimstone. Just because they have, like, mollies and stuff that can keep the bomb alive. So your job is to not just kill everybody. Like, you know, good job. Anyone can kill, kill everybody, but it's not consistent, you know? You want to just stall as long as you can. You want to be just a, that little annoying guy who's like, oh, I can't, we can't retake because this guy is annoying us, you know what I mean? So the more time you can burn off the clock, the the better for you, as especially as a raise or any any duelist, really. Because most of your util isn't that good. Raise is kind of special because you can satchel people off the bomb, you can nade them. But still, usually you've used all that utility to get onto the site, which is exactly what you need. So yeah. That's pretty much C. Alright, so we have defense now. And we're gonna go A, because I really like A. It's kind of a... It's a good site, really. It's just, there's a lot of places you can play. And most of defense is pretty much just using these boxes. So one play I really like to do on pistol round, I'll jump up on here with a frenzy. And I'll just spray people down as they come. I'll, like, sit over here so they can't really see you. And you can just spray them down. You can even... You can do this with, like, phantom as well. It's really good. I saw the boss, the barriers up. <laughs> but yeah, you can just sit on this box, or you can sit on this box if you want a bit more of an aggressive one. You can play like this off angle here, it's pretty hard to clear. And then you can just kill people. You can also see long from here, but the problem is you can see both. Which is a good thing and a bad thing, because yeah, then you're exposed, so you could like boom bot here or something, and then you can peek long. But yeah, these boxes are really strong. But yeah, also this one, nobody uses this. Like, these ones are more common. They're used quite a lot, but no one uses this one. So what you can do is you can just kind of think about it from the enemy perspective here, right? Usually what they're going to do is they're going to come out like this. They're going to clear here. They're going to clear here. Clear here, maybe. And then they're going to kind of watch here. And they're going to peek out, and they're never going to look here. So what you can do is just get on this box and just play this angle. And I've caught so many people off guard from this angle. They just don't know, and they have to flick up to you, you know what I mean? They're like, oh my god. There's a raise there, and you just got a nice free headshot. Alright, so I was editing the video, and I forgot to mention, you don't actually need a satchel to get up here. You can just go up in heaven, and run and jump out, and just get on top of the box. So you can just save your satchel. You can't make it over here, but you can get onto this yeah. box. You can also just play on site, like this. You can nade the chokes. You know. Also just run, jump, right click. You want to nade as they're coming out. Invents the Boomba off this wall. Let's say a jet dashes out. We'll fly in here. And go for short. Or you can nade the choke here. Just like that. There's a guy stuck in that corner. You know, I just kill him. But yeah. A has some good nades. Also, uh, and that's pretty much it. Also for A, I think it's very important to not just play back here. People love to just sit on site. But what I would recommend is, you, you know, this... Barriers drop, you can just run with a nade out like this. You can play very aggressive here. You really want, you kind of want your teammates to help you though. If you have like any utility, if you have a breach, it's amazing because you can stun this whole thing. If you have an Astro, they can suck this. It's just really strong. Fighting for A main is very good because it gives you a lot of information. Like you can do a nade like this and if you see five guys, it's okay. You can give it up, you know, you can just satchel out and just say, all right, that's not worth it. But if they are not fighting super hard for it and they're just like, Let's say they're defaulting or there's actually no one there. You can just creep your way up. Kind of like this. And when you're up like this, it is so strong. Because you can hear everything. You can hear so many footsteps. Usually, there will be like a trip here yeah. or something. Which you can't, like, you can't always push it. But let's say the chamber dies or something, you can push. You can get a quick flank on the window. And this is where you'll get a lot of kills. You know, you'll peek up and get a free kill there. If they push B and you have a flank, it's GG. Like, you just kill, like, four instantly. But, yeah. Getting control of this area is so good. You can. Like, you can play here on this little wheelbarrow thing. Or you can play in this corner if you get really aggressive. Like, and they're going towards C and then they come back and you're here. They're fucked, you know what I mean? And you get such early info because you can hear. See? You can see my footsteps. You can hear all the way pretty much to C. Of footsteps that is crazy info and just that you have such a such a good position there 
But yeah, that's I'd really like fighting for here, but don't be afraid to give it up if they are going too hard, like they start spamming flashes and stuff. For sure, you can just run down like this and just take this duel. Like the Boomba, I talked on attack, that's why it's so good, because you can just take this duel. Or you can just Boomba it off the wall. And then you can just take them one by one, you know what I mean? A lot of people sit back here and just wait for this though. That's why you gotta just clear these one by one. And if anything's going bad, you can just satchel out like that. And yeah, that's mostly A. If I'm defending short, I usually like playing this box. I'll usually play this like two or three times a half. But yeah, that's pretty much A. For retake, I'll talk about real quick. I have a nice boom bot here that I like doing. Is this one. So you come into this wood, and then this, whatever this graffiti thing is. See this line here? I'll just toss the boom bot off. And it will come out like this. It will clear this angle, and then it will also clear hell. Which is very, very good. It won't really clear this, so I wouldn't... That's why I have this nade so while the boom bot's coming out or your teammates are holding this you can kind of just peek out a little bit and toss a nade like this and this will insta kill anyone graffiti which is very strong and then from then you can either just you can either just satchel out take a peek on the guy short something like that you know what i mean if you still have the nade you can also nade above like that kind of oh. I don't want it a bit further out. But yeah, you can nade here and that will kill pretty much anyone there. They'll have to push here so you can just quickly kill them. But yeah, that's the best util for retake. You also have this one from heaven. Very good one because they have to peek you here. You just run and throw it off that. Pretty much anywhere off it. You can throw it a bit more to the left if you need to clear here. You can throw a bit more to the right if you need to clear further over. It's just kind of a freehand throw, you know, you, there's nothing crazy about it. And yeah, that's pretty much defense. The other nades I already mentioned are also still good. But yeah, that's that's defense on A. Alright, we'll go over B now. This map is so big, so it's <laughs> it's very annoying. For B, um, the barriers here, obviously, you know. What I like to do is nade the window, like this. You can just throw it in. Nade the window, and then I'll peek out like this going very aggressive i still like to have a teammate with me here i don't i wouldn't ever really hired hold b as rays you usually want a sentinel here just to block it off so you can all just play somewhere else but yeah you'll shift up as this is blown up just be careful of the guy on top of this box or the guy peeking out i can get into this position which is a very very annoying position to deal with or you can just straight up jump in the window and just go like maybe there's a flank you can get a flank on a we get a flank on C or something. And the thing about this spot is you can also, inst like, let's say there's no one here, you can just run to a garage and come and help C. Which is why I like doing this. And you can also just get a quick kill. Like, if the guy peeks window, he's dead. He's pretty much dead. If the guy peeks here, you there's no way he's pre-aiming you. And then you can also just satchel out whenever you need to. It's pretty good. Like, I, I do like this spot. But where it's probably better, I will only play here, like, sometimes. I wouldn't ever like play there like five rounds in a row or something. You have garage. Garage is so strong. This nade right here is one of the reasons. There. Look at that. It's perfectly in the choke, and you just have to bounce it off this. It doesn't even. It doesn't have to be accurate at all. You just kind of bounce it off this, and almost always just land in this doorway. You also do it off this, but this thing is just so consistent. Like it's always bouncing into the doorway. You can also just nade up close there's a guy there that's whatever so yeah if you want to play from here you can just do that and also bounce the boom bot off the same thing sends it out and yeah the other places you can play is on top of this box is pretty good if you want to play a hired one and done i'd play here but it can be very it's very risky like this is a hired hired one and done Obviously, you know, this corner, it's a very common one. You could also play from here. Still bouncing the nade off this. Maybe a bit further back this time. Or you can just toss it out. Gonna be the most accurate with it. But yeah. You can also peek out from garage here. What, like, the barriers go down. Toss a boom bot like this. You're gonna see that, and then you can just peek. 
spot, very risky play. I would, like peeking from garage, very risky. It's very, very niche. Like you can do it maybe once a half. Like it's very scary to do. I the like the best spot you've seen with this nade. This nade is very strong. And that's pretty much garage. Garage is quite easy to hold. All your utility just blows up everywhere. And yeah, let's just go over to C. Alright, so C is a weird one what you can do uh, with c is you can either play aggressive toss a boom bot like this and shift up with it but if the enemy are five manning this you are dead you're almost always dead like you're just dead so what you can do the way i really like playing c is sitting on this box with a teammate over here on backside or on here and the teammate can shoot any utility for you like a silver dart silver drone any of that and it's very strong with a judge also in garage it's very very strong with a judge but that's that's a given. So you can sit here with the judge and start popping people. You can also have a really strong ult spot from here. Just because you're already on the high ground. Alright, so you can see in this clip. Actually, I come that I'm gonna get a 4k for my friend shooting the eyeball. You can see I'm just sitting on this box here. The enemy start the execute, he shoots the eyeball. And bang, I just get my free kill with the judge. Satchel out, get a double kill with a rocket launcher. You see, they're all just stuck in that cubby, like they can't do much. Especially because we had the Astra suck to sold them off. And I hear the chamber TP, I got a breach flash, so I just run at him with a judge. I thought it, uh, I thought maybe I could just get him while he's flashed, and I did. And yeah, I ended up getting the 4k, so yeah. Very good here as well, because there's this cubby. A lot of people sit in this cubby, and if you are, honestly, if you're just waiting on C a lot of the time, like you can play here as well, if you're just waiting, a lot of the times I'll just nade this cubby just to check. And so many times there's a guy just sitting in there, he just swings out and tries to deal with me, so you just pretty much get a free kill on him. That's pretty much, like, this box, not a lot of people play this box. The problem is, if they win on garage and they split it, it's very, like, very claustrophobic, you have to keep looking back and forth. So you can just drop down and take a duel here instead. But yeah, top of this box is very good. You can also play on top of this. If you have like an op or something, it's very good. Take a duel, just get out. You can play on logs like this and satchel out. But this is very risky. I'd usually prefer this one. You can just nade the choke. Nading the choke as they enter on every map is raised. It's just so fucking valuable, you know what I mean? I think you can nade it off this like that, right? Yeah. Somewhere around this flyer where you just running nade it, and it'll just land in the choke as well. You've just kind of learned that when you learn just how the nade works, you know? Grenade. Yeah, like, let's say they're splitting garage as well, you can nade off this, and then you can take the duels here, on long, as the nade is blowing up, just so you can get really good timing. But yeah, C site, it's quite weird to hold. I'd re usually, like, prefer a jet or a chamber here, or someone who can op, it's very good. And then I would play on the box with them. That's my favorite spot to play here. And then for retake, it's kind of annoying retake. You can do a nade like this, just clear over this corner. Kind of throw it over the top, but we'll probably land there. It doesn't unlucky, you probably got unlucky with one of these like little terrains, but yeah. Then you can also just toss a boom bot over here, stopping anyone from peeking out like this, so you can isolate this. Like that. I actually got one to the garage though. I didn't really mean to do that, but it did. And yeah, you can also, so like you do that, isolate this, or you can boom bot like this. Okay. Isolate this one instead. You can lurk around like this. And you can take duels like that. And that boom bot will also clear Here. default just in case. And yeah, that's pretty much everything. I know this video is already long enough just because the map is so big. So we'll, we'll just end it there. And obviously any spot you can do anything with it. You can do a rocket launcher with it. You know what I mean? Rockets, they're good everywhere. We all know the rockets. You don't really need roulettes for it. They're just kind of fancy. But yeah, that's going to be the video. So thanks for watching. Uh, leave a like and sub and all that. And uh, yeah, see you later.